The Stranger in the Lifeboat is a story like Life of Pi, but instead of a tiger, it's about the second coming of God. This book is a lot of fun to read. The Stranger in the Lifeboat is a fast-paced, interesting book that makes you think about your deepest beliefs. It suggests that the answers to our prayers may be where we least expect them to be. What would happen if we asked God for help and then God showed up? In Mitch Albom's powerful new book about hope and faith, a group of shipwrecked passengers pull a strange man from the water. He says that he is the Lord. And he says that the only way he can save them is if they all trust him. After a ship explosion that killed many people, nine people are adrift at sea on a raft, trying to stay alive. There are three days. They are running out of water, food, and hope when they see a man floating in the ocean. They try to catch him. A passenger says, thank God we found you. I am the Lord, the man says in a low voice. So starts Mitch Album's most interesting and thought-provoking book so far. Album's best-selling books The Five People You Meet in Heaven and The First Phone Call from Heaven are both about heaven. Now, for the first time in his fiction, he thinks about what we would do if God showed up after we prayed for help. What could the Lord look like, sound like, and do? Album keeps us guessing until the end of The Stranger in the Lifeboat, is this strange, quiet man really who he says he is? What really happened to make the bomb go off? Are the people who lived already in heaven or in hell? Benji, one of the passengers, tells the story in a notebook. A year later, when the empty life raft washes up on the island of Montserrat, the notebook is found there. It's up to Jardy Lafleur, the chief inspector of the island and a man with his own demons, to figure out what really happened. How do we answer people who doubt God's existence when bad things happen? In this book, the Lord is both a person on a lifeboat that is drifting and a grieving father who has stopped believing in God. The author says that when we help each other, we share the love of Jesus. The author does a great job of making the reader care about what happens to the characters. I loved how, as the book went on, the different stories grew and grew together. The book gave us a lot to think about and made us ask questions that I've asked a lot. Well written, interesting, and touching.